Morning everyone. It's Lance here. Heart and Soil Ridge. Uh, beautiful sunrise morning. It's, uh, what is it, Tuesday, September is it the 5th. And anyway, today's video is about a change perspective. And uh, it actually involves these guys a lot. Uh, we've got Polly, her uh, Colt Remy. Well, he's a gelding now. Uh, Penny, and then my horse, uh, Maria. And so uh, I just want to quickly share a couple observations. Um, first off, you know, there's a, a big discussion in some of the circles that I run in about horses and can they graze, right? So I just kind of want to give you a, it's, it's kind of dark out, but, you know, this has been grazed for, oh, about a week. And let's see if I can jump over without getting a zip. Um, and this has been grazed, not grazed, rested. A lot of clover, which many horse people say you can't graze. I beg to differ, at least I'm learning. So again, a change perspective. For me, this represents lots of things. My wife, dear wife, da wife, which the wife, I don't like that term. I'm learning from my friend in Oklahoma that that's disrespectful. So anyway, getting back to the, the horses here and the grazing management, um, I'm seeing that a combination of very intentional grazing along with some supplement hay can really do wonders not only for the soil biology the underground herd but also these girls and boys well girls and boy but also us me myself and I right because Here's the deal, folks. My wife, Chrissy, she's been pushing me. We have all this pasture, Lance. You move the cows to a different farm to rest the whole farm. Look at it. Rest it. 30 some acres. Because we agreed that you needed rest. You wanted rest. That's true. I am in, I'm recovering, I'm in recovery. Hey buddy. Hey Remy. That's okay, you don't like the paper, do you? Yes, Remy. And my wife recognized that for her recovery, her connection to the land, to the animals, to her past, Remy, <laughs> you have a good connection with me this morning. She recognized that that these guys, these girls, were intricate to, or are intricate to her recovery. And so as far as a change perspective, I'm allowing, I'm really trying to allow God to change my perspective. About what I've been taught about grazing management. So I wanted to share that this morning uh, because you see these guys they can they can connect with us and God has given them a super unique ability to it's like a sixth sense and it's more than just what a cow can provide or a dog can provide uh, that's a probably for a different video, but because uh, we're going on five minutes here and I'd written out a, a script <laughs> about what I kind of wanted to share to keep it concise. So, um, so I'm just going to wrap up here 
as we head out. Um, so change perspective. So for many years, well, for I'm 40 this year, probably th from 40 f or 35 years, I've thought of horses as whatever. You know, I was raised on a beef farm, cow calf. They're hay burners. Look at the hay. Money pits. I told myself a lot of lies because I was people pleasing. And that's part of my discovery and recovery. I was very concerned about what people thought. I still am. And yet, the Holy Spirit, God himself, has a unique way of teaching us lessons. Many a lessons. As we open up to him. As we, for me, see it on the landscape. Short bit here. The horses have had this for almost all the summer going into fall here. And uh, a large enough paddock that they, they didn't do too bad of a job. But for me, I need to see, I need to experience God, experience, experience a lot of things, experience a change perspective. All right, so the horses, the land, that's what they represent to me. And, um, I recognize now that I love horses. We even bought Maria. I bought her. Nobody was with me at the horse auction. I recognize this spring, it was a faith-based decision. We went to an Amish auction to buy nothing. I insisted that we are not gonna buy anything. Didn't even hook up the trailer and kept feeling the nudge, nudge. Buy a horse for your wife. I, we think we were going on a date. So we got to connect with Amish and again, back to connection, people, that's a change perspective, you know? Think about it. I've looked at so many people, I'm better than them. They're this culture, that culture. Just fill in the blank, or I'm better than them. I don't need 12-step programs. That is a bunch of BS. And I will give credit where credit's due. Give credit to my God. Because he's put men in my life like Chuck, Dane, Justin, Clifford, Jordan, George Heller, John Meyer, my wife, obviously, the wife. Oh, I'm changing my perspective there. And so I'm going to wrap here, Minnesota wrap, Minnesota goodbye. Um, I just want to encourage us to let him lead. Think about that for a second. Pause. Stop walking around, doing our own darn thing. Push, push, push. Because when I slow down, when I stop, when I try to force myself to stop, I can become like Maria. Right? I can become more like him. That's probably a topic for a different video. So I encourage you to take a step. If you're feeling the nudge, you're feeling burned out, do something different. I recently decided and, and had it brought to my attention that um, I needed to start doing a 12-step program. I've been resistant. Change is hard. Changing your perspective is hard. But with 
the Lord, the Holy Spirit, anything's possible. And again, I needed these girls to help me see that, experience that, and love my wife more through that. Because she has a natural connection, a natural ability with horses. And that's why she is... That's why we're investing in natural lifemanship and she's going to different uh, classes, online, in person, spending money, his, his funds. That's another change perspective. So as I try to sit at his feet, be like Maria, or Mary, not Martha, Luke 10, 41, 42. I encourage you again, think about it. Try it out. Whether you want to take it as a dare or a challenge. I'm so glad that I did. I took this challenge. I took the nudge. I bought four horses. Spent, I don't know, seven grand? 7,200 it was. Maria's worked out. Black Eyed Susan looked like she wasn't going to work out. She's working out all right. She went to aggression, and you can't have that in equine therapy. Assisted learning. And yet, as I made a connection with these Amish guys, and they helped me get a shed ordered, I bought it from them. A guy named Joseph helped me build the shed. <laughs> now Black Eyed Susan is going to the biggest horse auction in the country in a couple, well, about a month. October 4th and 5th. And there's probably some money to be had. At least that's what Eli tells me, Eli Hostetler. Oh, we got a money-making opportunity here, Lance. Great. I owe him some money on a cattle trailer. He's gonna charge me a few hundred bucks to get it trained here for the last month. His son is gonna get exposure and probably get a name for himself, or at least dad will. Again, because I took I took the, the step, a step, and a step led to change, a change perspective. Noodle on it. Why is this video <laughs> 13 minutes, Clifford? Well, because sometimes, oftentimes, the Lord leads. Maybe somebody needs to see the sunflowers. Turn to the east. Let's see if you want to see a sunflower. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of sunflower. There's some. And so if you're still hanging with us, try it. Take the step. <laughs> Take a big step. Holy buckets. Shout out to my buddy out of Caledonia, Minnesota. Here, we better put this back on Zoom 5. Would I never have ever bought a horse? Probably let alone a goat. Chit chat? Hey, chatty. Never have bought one of these things. And yet God provides, right? <coughs> Willie! It's okay, Willie. Look at this is a huge provision. This horse is a provision. If you want to know more, let me know. I'll gladly tell you about horses and donkeys, even though I don't know don't know a damn thing about a ASS. <laughs> But the Lord will lead and guide, right? So, all right, we better sign off. We got to get kids ready for school and 
keep on trucking load a few goats last night at 10 o'clock or 9 30 and they got to be hauled to an amish guy mr andy at the lumber yard so with that have a wonderful day friends